Hey guys, happy Friday. All right, it's time to get moving on this thing. So, got all the carving done. I got uh, pretty much everything cleaned out. Uh, it looks really good. I don't really think that there's any other issues anywhere. I'll probably um, cover it again just before I put my finish on. But now I want to sand it. So I've got 80 grit on here. And I want to get all of the pencil marks and all of the, the layout marks off of there. So here we go. Okay, so now I'm going to go with 220. I kind of took care of most of the stuff here, but I'm going to go with a 220 and resand it. I'll do that off of camera. One thing I didn't, I haven't mentioned yet, is I actually did some fill in here. Um, actually, did some fill with that Starbond CA glue, which worked really good, and I also used it on the back for um, for stabilizing the the live edge on there on on down here up here not so much because there's not much of the bark live edge but you can see in spots there I stabilized it with the um, with that Starbond CA glue I just I love that stuff so I did it on both sides and then I did some fill um, in here as well anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and sand finish in with 220 and we'll be back and we'll start the finishing process. All right, folks, here's what we're going to do. Now, I want to try and uh, eliminate, every time I, I've done a pour, a resin pour, uh, I really haven't spent any time and seal it up. So what I did was I experimented with a couple pieces of scrap of this white poplar, and I sprayed it with my crystal clear, um, the Krylon crystal clear. One of them was a satin, and the other one was a gloss, because I just had some of each and um, to see if I would get any kind of reaction. Um, so I put, I think I put three coats on and um, then I just did a really fast pour, resin pour on those. I don't know, I, hopefully those are kind of showing up, but um, I got no kind of chemical reaction or anything. So it appears that I can use that as a, as a sealer underneath the, the the resin so here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna actually I'm only putting resin on one side of this thing but and I've already shook this up for a minute or two so I'm just gonna seal it up and um, and put my my crystal clear acrylic on there it's obviously not really level but it doesn't have to be for this this operation Generally, when I put spray finishes on stuff, guys, and if you guys have probably seen me do it before, um, I do the back first, and then I spin it over. I've got my little pyramids there. Turn it over. Now I do the edges all the way around. Oh, man, that's coming out nice. And then I will, uh, I will do the actual surface. That stuff is, well, much better out here than it is when we were in the studio. Then it was. This stuff you definitely want to use an ele um, elevated. What's that word that I'm looking for? Yeah, ventilated. ventilated, yes. Not elevated. Wow. I'll check that out. Love it. Yeah. Man, that's going to look really good underneath that. Uh, underneath that resin I think all right so here's what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna give this about uh, this stuff dries really quick it's a nice day out here I'm gonna set it in the Sun let it dry I'm gonna put at least uh, one or two more coats on 
then we're going to come back and we're going to do some painting. We got to, to match the colors and get some paint on this and then the resin will go on after that. So hang with us. We'll be back. Hey guys. All right. So I got uh, three coats on this sign uh, in the last, it's right now about, I don't know, four hours later than when I put the first coat on here. So it, this stuff dries really fast. So um, I actually sanded after the first coat, I sanded really smooth with uh, 500 grit, just hand sand and knock down the, the surface to get it nice and smooth. So it's time to apply some paint. So this is our logo. We've got a gray, a blue, and black, three different colors. I don't think it'll take very long to paint this thing. I had a paintbrush set here somewhere. What did I do with it? Hmm. Well, that figures. All right, let me grab a paintbrush here. We'll use uh, that one. I think that's the one I had. All right, so, uh, so we've got gray, blue, and then black. So I'm going to do the... Do the gray first. I've already mixed these up, got them ready to go. And which ones are you using? Oh, actually, which what? Paints. Oh, I'm using the one shot. I'm actually going to put on my cheaters. Might as well get all the advantage I can. Um, I'm actually using the one shot. Uh, well, I can kind of hold them up. Where'd it go? <laughs> oh, it's completely. Wow, that's weird. Yeah, that is weird. And that one's kind of covered. That one's kind of shows. You get there. You go. Oh man. Okay. That's a one shot. You guys, this is what I use most of the time. I've been using this for the last, I don't know, six months or so. I really like it. Now, where am I at? Or right, that one. That's the little one. I'm not. I'm only going to show a little bit about how I do this, guys. It's um. So is that going to cover in one coat? Yeah, and that was, uh, thank you for reminding me, that was one of the other reasons that I like uh, about putting a finish on. Because when you put this stuff on bare wood, sometimes it soaks in and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't cover as well and you got to put a second coat. When you put a finish on it and put your color over the top of that, it sets on top really well which it looks like it's doing here and it flows really good. So that allows me to get by with just uh, just one coat, hopefully. Uh-oh, it's gnat season. Did you get one? Yeah, there, he landed on my hand. Anyway, it's dark outside. So it's not, uh, now the one disadvantage in doing this when I don't have black on the edges is you got to be even more careful. You don't want it going over the edge. All right, so there's that. Now I'm going to wash this out. And we're going to go with blue. Put the lid on that? Oh yeah, please. Thank you, my lovely assistant. <laughs> my Here, I'll let you. My Vanna White. I'll let you put it on top there, so I don't have to. Put what? Oh, put the that. lid. Okay, so you don't have to. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So now the blue. This blue is gorgeous. It's called Easter egg blue. Easter egg, uh, Robin, right? Oh, Wasn't it? Robin's uh, egg blue. Robin egg, yeah, not Easter egg. It's called, yeah, one shot Robin egg blue. That's what it is. All right, so that next. Uh, Careful, don't put your hand in that gray. I'm gonna try not to. Awkward silence. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I. Afraid to talk and paint at the same time? Yeah, I can't. Can't do more than one thing at once, at one time. Well, that is pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it's a very pretty color. And it's actually pretty. Trip? That was close. 
it's actually pretty close to uh, tomorrow's logo color I'm assuming that um, well I know that the the resin that I put on after uh, is crystal clear it shouldn't change these colors at all just make them pop just makes them brighter yeah but see how that flows on now this stuff and I've talked about this one shot stuff before it's automotive paint it's not it's made for like pinstriping and stuff but somebody actually one of you guys told me about actually more than one I actually got it got suggested to me several times by different people but uh, the first time I used it I realized man it uh, it just flows no brush marks no it covers, right? it covers in one deal especially if you've got finish underneath it so um, I love this stuff it's not cheap you know it ain't the cheapest paint out there but for what you do it lasts a long Yo, time yeah this can't you know I, it just it'll it, probably dry up I've, before you yeah ever use I've it. never I've never run out of a can uh, this small and I've used a lot of it even that uh, big rolling hill sign that I did for John Peters there was a lot of gold on that we ordered a second can but shoot we hardly even busted into the first can with all that gold that was on that big sign so it just goes forever it just lasts forever so um, those are long ways And it flows out. God, nice even color. I yeah, I dig this stuff. It's so much better than than any other paint I've ever used. Actually, it back in the old days when Dad first started, we used when we put color on signs, which we did at the very beginning back in the seventies. Um, actually, there was a product that we used that that reminded me a, a lot of this. And it was Verathane. It was actually polyurethane. It was Verathane made by Flecto. And they made it in about, I don't know, 15 or 20 different colors. Any of you that have been around for a long time, you'll remember that. But Verathane used to come in colors. Man, I hate that. Babe, can you get me another glove? I don't, that black is all goopy and stuff. And I do not want to get black on this. Um, thank you. Uh, but yeah, Verathane used to come in colors, and, and that's what we used to paint all of our signs with. We would put Verathane on the sign, back when Verathane was owned by Flecto, we would put completely coat the sign with three or four coats of Verathane, and then we would use the colored Verathane on top of that. And it was a perfect match because it was the same product, and it was, uh, it was colored. All right, so now... Careful, you have a hair on your brush there. Yeah, it's it's like it's a a squirrely thing. I'm trying to get it to lay down. There it did kind of, but it keeps popping out. The only reason I can see it because I'm zoomed in on it. Oh. Good, so if I make a mistake, you'll be right <laughs> on it. Thanks for that. <laughs> so, you guys are seeing this on Friday, and we just got back from a trip to Las Vegas today. We spent the night there last night, and then today we went for a, a ride on a spider motorcycle. Man, that was cool. Up at Red Rock Canyon. Yeah, you guys... Uh, I, we did actually a, a, just a short interview with the, the guys that own the company. And uh, I'm going to show that on an upcoming video and show some scenes from, the, from our ride. But man, it was, it was so much fun. We just, we really had a blast. I kind of can see the, the appeal from you guys that are riders out there. It's the first time I've ever really ridden. Well, probably either one of us. I well, yeah, but that was, you know, well, I don't know. Maybe you know bikers that yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there's something I didn't know. But uh, I, I used to ride dirt bikes when I was a kid. But um, 
I almost killed myself a couple times on those. I figured I'd never want to ride on asphalt, but these, and on two wheels, I wouldn't. I just wouldn't do it, but you guys that have been doing it forever. But this spider thing was way cool. Man, that was fun. And Red Rock Canyon, if you've never seen Red Rock Canyon up out of Las Vegas, it is way cool. That's beautiful. Is that rattling noise? Oh, the out dogs there? are on a hunt. They're after a rabbit. And a squirrel, something. It's underneath the studio. Yeah. You hear them, hear them whining. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's sugar. Mm-hmm. Matter, sugar. All right, there it is. So, you guys don't need to see the painting, painstaking rest of this. I'm going to, these are, everything is going to be just like this, black and then red and blue and black red down and there. Blue. Or, excuse gray me, and gray blue. and blue. Yeah, not red and blue. So, I'm going to finish painting this up tonight. With any luck at all, we will be pouring tomorrow. So, Stick with me. We will be back. It'll be just a couple seconds for you. And it'll be a couple hours for me. <laughs> hey guys, it is Friday. Time to get this thing poured. Didn't we already say it's Friday? I think you did. We did. Sorry. All right. Anyway, it's the next morning and I get confused easily. <laughs> so I've got this, uh, I've got my resin all poured. I'm using the art resin. Um, the, the paint flew, uh, it just, it went on really, really well. Just one coat. The fact that I had a, a finish on it first, I think made a huge difference. Um, really happy with the colors. So now we are going to pour this thing and, uh, see what this resin looks like. So I poured this resin about 12 minutes ago and then kind of been working with it with a heat gun, trying to get as many of the bubbles to surface and pop as possible. So now I'm just going to kind of work from the, the center out. Now the way I figured out how much resin to pour is Art Resin actually has a, on their website, they have a calculator where you just put in the dimensions. It's really cool. Just put in the dimensions of your project. And it tells you how much to use. Now, what I found over a period of time is everybody else's projects generally. You're dragging your fingers through the resin down there. I was too low. Lift up the top, yeah. Whew. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I got a goop, a big gob. Anyway, so the um, the thing about the the calculator that I've learned is that it does not take into account something that is kind of three-dimensional is what my carving so um so i always now i always add so what i did was the calculator told me based on my dimensions told me it was going to be about uh, 14 ounces total seven and seven so i poured uh, an extra 10 ounces or i mixed excuse me uh, i mixed an extra 10 ounces so that makes it um, 24 altogether. Thank you. So I always kind of, at this point, I always kind of freak out, think I don't have enough. And uh, mentally, I'm there again. I'm freaking because I'm thinking I don't have enough. But we'll see. Bowls don't seem to be too bad right now. Okay. So we'll be working with this probably for the next hour. The cool thing about the art resin, if you guys watch us do it before, is it's got like a 45 minute work time. That's right, right? Yep. About 45 minute work time. So we've got plenty of time. So I'm. Uh... So if you 
He's driving me crazy. I have to get in. Yeah. Do that thing, please. You want the bigger one? No. Yeah, I knew Vicky couldn't stand it. <laughs> I knew she'd have to get in here and, and help. But I think what we'll do is we're going to keep working with this, guys. I think we'll shut it down for now. Just don't want this to go too long. You can kind of see what we're doing. And we'll be, um, again, we'll be using the heat gun to get rid of these bubbles for the next hour or so. It looks like we're going to have enough. Um, so, babe, you want to... Uh, yeah. Man the camera yeah. for a minute, and we'll shut this thing down. And then what? This we'll, is my favorite part. I know. Well, you'll be able to help me with it once we're once we stop the camera. Um. So we're going to um, we're going to keep messing with this. You can kind of see how it's progressing, and then on Monday we'll come back and show the finished product. So that is about it. Again. Uh, thank you so much, Tamar, for, uh, for letting us do this for you. I uh, had a blast making it. I hope it does come out like I think it will. And um, you guys will see it on Monday. So everybody have a great weekend. Thank you again for watching. If you have any questions on this or anything else, just email me, eric at makerwoodsign.com. We're on Instagram every day, makerwoodsign. And um, we'd love it if you'd share this video and give us a like. And um, I guess that's about it. Have a great weekend, guys. We'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.